Now in today's video I will talk about why I will never buy another Sony TV again and why you shouldn't buy one either. Personally I'm a huge fan of Sony products. I'm actually filming this video on a Sony camcorder. I also own various Sony cameras. In our family we've actually got four Sony cameras that we use for filming YouTube video and creating content online. Now this TV here is a 65 inch Sony Bravia TV and I've got a video on that which I will link down below for you. And in here we used to have a 70 inch Sony Bravia TV which cost us just under $2000 which has now been replaced by an Aldi TV and I will also link that video down below for you. Now this TV here cost us $1500 and it is a 65 inch TV and $1,500 was on special. This 75 inch Aldi TV here cost us $799 and it has not given us any problems. Now the reason we've got an Aldi TV in there is because a $2,000 Sony TV blew up and stopped working completely just outside of the warranty period and we ended up taking a $2,000 TV straight to the tip which was very very upsetting. Now this 65 inch TV here which is also a Sony Bravia as you can see there this one still works well it works sometimes what happens with these TVs is each time the TV updates and being a smart TV it updates all the time like it happens sometimes once a week sometimes once every few weeks it actually shuts down the TV after the update is completed you can't turn the TV back on if you see here you press the control and nothing happens okay and this is because the TV needs to be reset. Now to reset the TV I've got to turn off the power point. Now the power point is behind the TV here. So to be able to do that or unplug it or turn off the power point I've got to actually take the TV off the wall, turn it off for a short while, then I've got to rehang the TV back on the wall, turn it back on, reconnect it to the internet and then I can use the TV. And it only works until the next update comes along, which could be a few days or it could be a few weeks. And then I've got to repeat the whole process. Now I've repeated that process countless times and we haven't had this TV working now for quite a few days because honestly, I have not been bothered to pull the TV off the wall, especially with our Christmas decorations there and reset everything and get it to work again, which is absolutely a ridiculous situation. So what I'm actually going to be doing, hopefully, they're having a Black Friday sale next week where Aldi will be selling a 70 inch TV, which will be the same brand as this TV. This is a 75 inch, as I mentioned earlier. And that's the brand there. And honestly, I have no idea how you would pronounce that. And I'm not even going to try. So with some luck, I will be resetting that TV and then I will be selling it and I will be buying another Aldi TV which does not have those problems and replacing my $1500 Sony TV with a $600 Aldi TV. So that's just a quick rundown and I'm hoping I'm not going to miss out on the Aldi TVs because they go pretty quick when they're that cheap. So there you go, this is why I recommend not to buy a Sony TV and personally I will never buy another one. Now if you've had any similar experiences with your Sony TV, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, also leave a comment down below. I'll try and answer all comments to the best of my ability. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.